Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and welcome to the second video in my Stamp Joy 2022 vlog series. Today we'll be packing up the car, getting on the road to Des Moines, and going to a fun event to help kick off Stamp Joy 2022. I hope you'll stick around and find out more. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Well, we are all packed up and we are ready to go get gas and get on the road. But before we go, I have a special guest to introduce to you. Say hello, Presley. Hi. Yep, my daughter is coming with me and we are getting ready for a fun weekend. So I hope to be able to share lots about what we do. And then on Saturday night, which I guess you won't see this before then, but Saturday night we're gonna do a live. And I told Presley she could kind of give us like an outsider's perspective about Stamp Joy, since this probably wouldn't be her favorite place to go, but I'm glad she's coming with me. All right, we'll see you later. Before we could head out of town, I needed to stop and fill up the gas tank, and I sent Presley into the gas station to get us some caffeine for on the road. Another quick stop we made was at the Dollar Tree. I had Presley run in to get us each a bath puff for the weekend because ours were soaking wet, so we left them at home. After the bath puffs were procured, we did our final steps before driving off, and that was to get our destination into Google Maps, which was the Hilton downtown Des Moines, and to get our first round of music queued up on the radio. For this trip, it was Taylor Swift's Folklore album. Who else is excited about her upcoming Midnights? If you watched our Live from the Hotel on Saturday night, or the first video in this vlog series, you did find out that Presley was not my original partner that I would be going to Stamp Joy with. Just like last year, I was gonna go with my sister Lisa, but unfortunately she's been going through some medical stuff, which please keep her in your thoughts and prayers, and decided on Monday that she wasn't going to be able to make it. Well, I think I had a little bit of a freak out um, because I am not the kind of person to go somewhere like this by myself. But luckily, which they did not have to do, Tailored Expressions did let Presley come in my sister's place. And I will tell you that it was already kind of a quick trip. It's only like two and a half hours to Des Moines, but it was so nice to have somebody in the car with me to chat with, to sing along with, and to help me out with recording video on the road. We made a couple quick stops along the way. The first one was to my favorite rest area, which if you've ever watched any of my other crafty vlogs, you've definitely seen this one. And then we also stopped for a quick bite to eat. We made it to Des Moines in what seemed like no time, and because I knew how to get to the hotel, I was able to do it this year in one try instead of having to circle the block three or four times. We just arrived at the hotel. We're gonna go see if we can get checked in. It's about 1.30, so they might not let us. We might have to kill some time, but beautiful day to drive. We made it safely. We'll talk to you soon. Luckily, they did have a room available for us, so we went ahead and got checked in. 
got the car parked, got the bags up to the room, and then we spent a little time unpacking. When I stay at places for more than a night, I do usually try to use their dresser just so I'm not living out of a suitcase. So we unpacked our clothes and then I filled up what I call our pantry area. There was a coffee maker in this spot, but I just put it in the closet for the weekend. And Presley had her snacks and I had my snacks and we had our drinks. Let me know if you also like to unpack at hotels or if you just go ahead and stick with your suitcase. After everything was unpacked, we decided to go explore a little bit. We were able to spot some other stamp joyers checking in at the front desk. All right, guys, so it's three o'clock on Thursday. We have unpacked in the hotel, our pantry's ready, our clothes are unpacked. We took a little bit of a break and now we're gonna walk over to the convention center. I'm just gonna show Presley where it's at. Foiled again, Batman. Unfortunately, it's not unlocked, so we'll have to walk over here a different day. Well, since we couldn't make it over to the convention center, we stopped for a drink at the bar. Presley, what are you having? It is a um, lemonade, cherry lemonade. Cherry lemonade. I'm just having a Diet Coke. We're just hanging out. So we attempted our walk over to the convention center and then we stopped for a drink in the bar downstairs. Um, don't worry, Presley's did not have alcohol in it. And then we met a couple nice ladies who were here for Stamp Joy. And hi ladies, it was so great to get to talk to you. And then we decided we would relax a little bit up here in the hotel room. Presley is over in her cocoon. <laughs> <laughs> and it is almost time now to get ready for the mix and mingle which um, all look pretty much like I do now, just maybe a different shirt. So we will hopefully we'll take some photos there. I'm not sure about videos, but I can't wait to tell you all about it. I know it's gonna be a blast. We'll talk to you soon. The Mix and Mingle was an event for people who might be getting into town earlier and Peggy and Barbara and Trisha got everything arranged and ran the festivities all night. There were some heavy hors d'oeuvres, a cash bar, lots of crafty chit chat with our table mates and tons of prizes. Like I mentioned in my getting ready to go video, you could bring a little gift from either just a crafty gift or something that might represent your state. And so many people brought gifts that everybody got one and some people got two. Presley picked out these cardinals that she had been eyeing all night. Another fun part of the event was the photo booth. They had a backdrop and lots of fun props that Trisha had put together. Well, it is a Thursday evening after the mix and mingle. Presley, what did you think of it? Um, it was pretty fun. Um, I got to talk to a lot of people. Um, I won some cardinals. They're really cute. There's three of them. Yeah. Um, the food was really good. There's these little like, um, pork tenderloin sliders and then this margarita pizza flatbread um, and it was all really good. Awesome. Yeah, so I probably did insert a picture of the Cardinals that Presley won. She was eyeing those on the table the whole time, but she had forgotten to put her ticket into the drawing bucket. Well, they had so many prizes that everybody got one. So they did let her pick a prize and the Cardinals were still there. So there were three in there and she's gonna have one in her room. I'm gonna put one in my craft room and then we're gonna give one to her Aunt Lisa or my sister Lisa, you know her. But it was a wonderful time. 
Peggy and a couple of the other ladies organized the whole thing and ran it just loads of fun and I'm not I'm pretty introverted so going to events like that would not be my thing but I have to tell you so many nice friendly people there um, I did talk to the I talked to two ladies earlier down in the bar area and shared with them Leanne and Tracy and we sat with them at the table and got to know them better and then guys I met somebody named Allison from Long Island which I love her accent did you like her accent Presley mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> um, super sweet and they drove all the way here and she gave me a Christmas ornament for Stamp Joy. Look, so the front, it has the little logo and the date and on the back it says Tailored Expressions. Isn't that so sweet? Uh, I did get my buttons handed out. I think people liked them and some ladies even put them on right away. So that was sweet to see them using those. Uh, any last thoughts? Um. Should people come to Stamp Joint and attend the Mix and Mingle? Yeah, they yeah. should. You should come. <laughs> All right, well, it is time to get ready for bed. It's like 8.06, but we know it's going to be a long weekend. So we're going to get in bed so we can wake up. Registration starts at 7.30 in the morning, which I think we're going to try to be there um, right 7.45-ish maybe. And I almost forgot... Um, Taylor stopped by as we were like starting to get food and stuff and she went around to each table and when she got to ours she noticed that Lisa wasn't here and asked about her. How thoughtful to recognize that I was there but she didn't see Lisa so that was so kind. And then also if you know, know of Christopher Allen from Brutus Monroe he was there as well so that was super cool. I got a picture with him and I also will put up a picture here with me and Peggy the lady who took care of like organizing you know the mix and mingle event with the hotel. Super super sweet and uh, I guess we'll see you tomorrow morning. Have a crafty night! Here are some shots of Des Moines through our window at night. Don't forget to check out the other videos in this series and last year's vlogs. Everything is linked in the description box below. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.